Alrighty everyone, welcome back to Hearts Medicine 3 Hospital Heat. We are on the- we're back in the present time. Uh, we're on the fourth? Yeah. We're in the fourth the place, department, whatever. It's the maternity ward. Level 31, the waiting game. Complete 15 treatments in under a minute. What? Well, maybe. What's happening? I don't know why, but somehow both patients are having some kind of episode. We need to finish this transplant quickly, Jenny. I'll need you to hold this one while we finish up. But what about Allison? Highest priority problems first. Stitch Matilda's kidney, oh my goodness. Jenny! I can't hold her. This isn't going to work. Give her two cc of penopedephrine. Pampodephrine. Isn't that dangerous? Leaving her open like this is more dangerous. You can close her up now. I'll get to work on Allison. No! The shakings reopen her stitches! Her oxygen levels are already way too low and she's losing blood! Suck up the liquid! Oh yeah, yeah, I forget that if you move it, it's faster. Jenny, can you hook up Allison while I stitch her up? Is it that bad? It isn't great. Just do it! You don't have time to ask. Sorta. Wait, do they both have abs? Oh, well. I really don't know what happened. Well, the brain. <laughs> so, am I already showing? No, if you wear your doctor's coat, you can hardly see a thing. Thanks. I just don't want to tell anyone yet. I was kind of hoping to tell Allison first. How's she doing? Neither her nor her mother have woken up yet. There were some complications during surgery. And they need to give them some time to stabilize before they bring them back around. If everything had gone as planned, she would have started here today. I hope she's okay. Me too. But try not to worry, it's not good for the baby. <laughs> when did as asking someone not to worry actually work? Yes, yeah, seriously people, when did that actually work? Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Welcome to the shop. Both baby crib, both parents with babies and pregnant women will regain hearts by looking at the mobile in this crib. You don't necessarily have to- I just want to point out, you don't have to be a woman to be pregnant. People of other genders can end up having the necessary organs for- being pregnant as well. Scale model. The scale model will keep patients occupied, making them slower to lose hearts at the checkout desk. Patients are slower to lose hearts while laying on a nice, comfortable bed. Soft waiting chairs. Alright. Complete 15 treatments in under a minute. Why did my mouse just stick like that? Oh. That's cool. We're still learning. 
Let's see what little surprise is hiding in here. Apply the gel by rubbing it on her belly. The baby will appear. Isn't that the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I'm not sure babies look like that inside the stomach, but cool. Or that you get pictures looking like that. That's cool. That's cool. Should check them all out. At least failed ones. Oh, okay. Apparently we already did it. I didn't even realize. <laughs> okay. Cool, cool. It wasn't that hard, apparently. Why do they have- why are they- why do they have such smug looking babies inside of them? Like, what? What are they doing in there? Babies seriously suck their thumb inside the womb, like really? Slightly skeptical, but sure. Game logic. I like that the, the baby, okay actually he is holding the or the, they are holding the baby, but since the monitor is in the way, it kind of looks like they just abandoned their baby, just like, oh, we're done, never mind, bye. Lost the baby. Here's that smug looking baby again, like what? Well, sort of smug at least. New minigame! Change their nappies! Help new parents out by showing them how to change the baby's nappies. Some babies like to play. Keep a toy ready to distract them. Okay. Good use. Hello, Daniel. Daniel. Allison's not doing great. I know. I brought her some cards. Hang up all the cards. Princess says hi. Little Creek needs you. You can do it! <laughs> Lol. Hang in there, Allison. Daniel. 
Come back to me, Allison. Challenge level 16, Emily's Canteen Challenge 4. Watch out, Emily. It's hush, 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 rush hour. Okay. What do you mean that, my... Too many things now. Uh, oh. oh god. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh. Dang it. No. Well, I feel screwed. Sure, there. Alright, level 32. Messes will be made. Clean up the mess from the tea party. Alright. I don't know if I'd advise an a angry daughter to give up her kidney. Well, she did make the choice herself. And no matter their history, it's still her mother. That's not really a good argument, cause like, I don't define mother. If it's just just the person you share genetic material with, then they can be a horrible person, and then it's not like, oh, but it's my mother. I am forced to love her, however shitty she is to me. Like, no. But if it's someone who actually cares about you and takes care of you, no matter your like how much how many genes you share then then yes but it should more be someone who i don't know like just saying oh but it's it's your mother you're forced to love her no matter if she's a shitty person or not is just like unrealistic and weird like i it, that alice's mother isn't like abusive or whatever to her even though what she did was definitely not good uh but like if you have a mom who abuses you, then you can't be like, oh, but it's your mom, you have to love her. No, screw that. If they are a horrible person, you are not forced to love them. Like, no. So, this- no. I'm not- you can't just be like, oh, but it's your mother. No. If they are a shitty person, you have- you owe them nothing. 
nothing. But in this case, Alice's mom does love her, even if she took the easy way out and decided to run from all her responsibilities and everything instead of take responsibility. Even sure, yes, it's a hard situation, but the way, she, especially the way she did it, nah, -uh, nah, -uh. might be an explanation, but it's not an excuse, not by a long shot. <laughs> yeah, even though she'd never admit it, Allison wouldn't be the person she is today without her mom. I'm just saying that I won't get any e. Blah. I'm just saying that it won't get any easier from here on out. Well, I'm not worried. I've got a feeling Allison will wake up and forgive her mother. Okay... I hope so. Let's get back to work. Wow, really? Sophia, did you like the cookies? Actually, they were really good. They're organic from the local farmer's market. That means they're doubly good for the baby. You can take them if you want. Thanks, Chance. Okay. Uh, no one cleans up after themselves, of course. Why would they? Including Chance, though, actually. Oh, well, there are three left, really? Alright, new parents might need some help. Blah, might need some help. Show them how it's done by changing the baby's diaper. Click and drag to wipe the baby. Uh oh, looks like this baby wants to play. Click and drag a toy to distract it. Drag the diaper to the baby. Well done, this baby's ready to go. Not all babies want to play, but if they do, drag the toy to them when they grab hold of the wipe. Alright. There's like one left. Uh -oh. Where's the last thing for the tea party? Invisible. We got it. <laughs> oh, okay. I I can buy that one. Sort of. Yeah, I should I should I should have waited. <clears throat> or done her last treatment as well. <clears throat> I 
Wow. That womb was uh, very spacious and full of nothing. realized that that toy is the penguin mascot from one of the delicious games where we helped out those people at the amusement park. That was their mascot. The penguin. Something like that? Yeah, because the sun was like in the mascot dress up or whatever. I don't remember names, but yep. Pretty sure it's that one. Which is irritation of the joint. This in turn can cause pain in the lower knee. Yeah, I don't think you should sit up. Uh, try to stay calm. You've been laying here for quite some time. I'm gonna get Quinn. He'll explain it to you. I'll be right back. She's not gonna randomly wake up and forgive her mother, what? What kind of weird prediction was that? Thank you, Ali, for saving my life. I... <clears throat> Stop! I didn't do this for you, I did it for Ryan. I did this so I can finally get you out of my life. So why don't you just leave me alone? We both know that's something you're pretty good at. I can't blame her. I, I can't. Her mom made the choice. However hard it was, that's the choice you made all these years. It's wholly on you. Anyways, that was it for this first episode of the Maternity Ward. So thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see ya.